Joining me in the studio right now is former Pennsylvania Senator and current presidential candidate Rick Santorum, who, of course, won the state of Tennessee back in 2012. He also won a total of 11 states and placed second to Mitt Romney in the GOP primary. And he's running for president again. Mr. Santorum, welcome to the studio. Well, thank you. It's great to be with you. Absolutely. All right. Now, before we get into the real issues here, I did want to ask you about this. Um, Last week, the New York Times published a story about Marco Rubio. 17 traffic citations since the late 90s. Now, before we get into the issues, I have to ask, any traffic citations or illegal turns on red that we need to know about? Well, in defense of Marco Rubio, I think only four of those traffic citations were actually his. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so I think they they uh, they uh, a little misleading on the headline there, but uh, I uh, do I have any traffic? I don't think so. And okay. uh, not not in the last five uh, four or five years, no. But no, look, I've I've had a speeding <laughs> ticket or two in my day, but uh, not not a chronic problem. All right, I just wanted to get it all out there so we know where we stand on the traffic issue. So. Uh, Well, Mr. Santorum, I appreciate the time, and let's get right into these issues here because we have about uh, 40 minutes, and of course, that'll go by a lot quicker than you actually think. And folks, if you have any questions, comments that you want to ask Rick, uh, please do give us a call, 267-1023, and toll-free, 888-779-8255. Mr. Santorum caught the interview with uh, Fox News Sunday, Chris Wallace, on Sunday. And one of the issues that you did cover was the fact that you support raising the minimum wage. Yeah. Uh, you support raising the middle class. You've said yourself that the GOP's traditional message on the economy is a bit out of date. Greg, do we have that audio clip here? This is uh, yourself on the campaign trail talking about the GOP message on the economy. We're stuck with a 35-year-old message on the economy. It's a message that says cut taxes for high-income individuals, balance the budget, and cut government. But it's insufficient in America today. Raising the minimum wage, raising the middle class, how do we do it? Well, I, I support raising the minimum wage, but I don't support what the president wants to do. I think that's, let I me mean, just be very, very clear about that. I, I've had a history when I was in the Congress of supporting uh, small increases in the minimum wage that keep the minimum wage, which uh, where it has historically been in America, which is about 5% of Americans uh, covered, on, basically get paid the minimum wage. If that's that. To me, it sounds like a minimum wage. You have a floor. Today, less than 1% of Americans make the minimum wage. So, in a sense, we don't have a minimum wage in America.